So I've removed the side panels from the, the tank just to speed things up. Uh, to remove the tank it's quite simple. You disconnect this connector for the fuel pump and you disconnect the fuel hose by using this uh, smart uh, interface uh, to disconnect the fuel line from the tank. Uh, then you've got a sort of a vacuum line I guess so uh, make sure you remove these as well. Um, make sure you close the tap and there's one on the other side as well. This one you do exactly the same here. So when you've done that you can remove the tank by unbolting this bolt and the one on this side as well. Make sure to remove those bolts as well. So I've taken one out already just to cut corners after I've done my test drive to warm up the engine so I can immediately start working on the bike. Okay so I have disconnected all hoses and connectors from the tank. So this one from the, uh, the fuel pump, the fuel hose, the main fuel hose this one here, need to disconnect this one and on the other side I've disconnected this hose as well I've removed the uh, the bolts on both sides of the tank so now we can uh, peel off the tank from the motor uh, one of the trade is to grease the rubber mounts so the tank will slide easily over it. I use some Vaseline but you can use some WD-40 uh, that's maybe better but I can't find mine at the moment so grease it in and the, the tank will easily slide on. Okay, so the tank is back on